So over here at the build site, looking at one, two, three, four, four levels high. I think they're shooting for nine or ten is what we're looking at. Um, it is uh, 9.35 in the morning, Wednesday, December 22nd, Wednesday, December 22nd, 2021. And uh, get some shots here before the road closure goes into effect of the new high bay construction. There's not a there's not a lot to see right now, as far as I can tell. And hey, Mikel. I'm getting some shots with the other camera as well, some close-up shots, and I don't know if I'll have enough uh, photographs to do a, uh, a slideshow tonight, but I'll give it a shot. I might be able to get a few more photographs and put together a music video tonight. I just remembered I'm shooting in um, I've been shooting photos today with the Nikon P1000 but I believe I believe I've been doing those in 1080 because I stepped it down but let me shoot it back up 2160 there we go Um, so this is what's going on um, again we're nearing Christmas here and after that's gonna be the New Year's here in the United States of America America Am Amer America 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 or if you're from Jamaica it might be America America America, like Eureka, but um, America, America. I'm not sure how we pronounce it today. I am in Texas, inside the tent. Okay, I'll zoom inside the tent. Good, good question. Good, uh, nice request. I do what I can. You know, um, this is my iPhone Pro 12 Max, but I will, uh, I will also zoom with the other camera, and I'll get some close-up shots inside the tent with the other camera as well you can see it here let me know if that helps at all America America oh yeah there are there are some uh, pieces inside there I can see it with the other camera so uh, check out the uh, if I put something together tonight, which I probably will if I get enough photos, check that out because I got some close-ups of the inside there. It is a, it is kind of dark in there though, in that area. What you see in there on the screen is pretty much the best, the best view because uh, the others are, the contrast is so, um, so strange that uh, I don't get that much of a better view with the. Holding, holding the eye, holding the Nikon P1000. I'm holding it and doing that uh, dark shot. All right, Shimojo. Hey, happy holidays, Shimo. Ron, nice. Yeah, that's the best I can do with this camera. Uh, quite often I'll set up the uh, the Nikon here as well. I have it in my hand. Yeah, thanks, Shimojo. 
and uh, do a live stream from here with the other camera. That That is something I do often. All right, well, that's that. Thanks for the quest. We can see, you can see here to the right, there are some stairs, and that's most likely for the new uh, construction here on the left. So on the far side of the screen on the right, right over here is some, some stairs. Um, and that's probably gonna go over to the high bay over there on the left. I'm in the process of putting together a board, a uh, board of directors for Ocean Camera Space Corp, and also adding team members. Uh, so if you have some space skills, reach out to me. I don't know if you've been to the OceanCam.Space website, but I did upload four documents there, and I have the list of positions that I'm looking to fill. There's um, in the About section on the OceanCam.Space um, yeah, the launch pad is closed. They just closed it about half hour ago, Starbase, today. Good morning. Yeah, Lynn, um, maybe focus on Booster 4, Lynn, Booster 4, Lynn, because they they might be doing a cryo test or some type of test today with Booster 4. So, if uh, yeah, if you're over there at South Padre Island, if I don't know where you are, but um, yeah, Starbase today, that'd be a good thing to get a shot of with your camera. Um, but I uploaded I uploaded four documents to the OceanCam.Space um, investor area of the uh, of the website for the team members and the board members. Uh, so the I, the equity incentive plan has been uploaded for for anyone who wants to see it. The Revised uh, articles in incorporation the bylaws. Oh, you're at Star South Padre Island. Awesome, cool. And um, and so I'm also looking. To there is a uh, link there to the uh, um, LinkedIn for my LinkedIn, and Ocean Cam also has a a space on LinkedIn as well. A grouped in a group for uh, the company Ocean Cam Camera Space Corp is on. LinkedIn. So if you want to follow there, that is possible. But my personal LinkedIn is uh, Paul S. Mamakos or Prince Paul. Is uh, It is uh, under the, uh, I think it's the About section because uh, that's where there's a little blurb about me and uh, the, uh, the types of individuals that I'm looking for as well. Cartoon Woody, good morning. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. But uh, yeah, if you were to go to the LinkedIn page for, for, for Paul Mamakos, or Paul S. Mamakos, you would see that there's about 40 or 50 different space-related um, individuals in my network. So I, I have been growing the Ocean Chem network with CEOs of like Al Tadros and, and other uh, experienced and accomplished and capable individuals who uh, I may... Uh, reach out to and see if we can collaborate on some Ocean Camera Space Corp missions. So I've been busy and if, uh, if you are such an individual that works at like um, one of the NASA Space Flight Centers or Jet Propulsion Laboratories or if you work up in Maryland at the Goddard Space Flight Center or maybe in Florida at Kennedy Space Center. If you work at any of these space centers in the United States uh, or maybe you're in Intuitive Machines up in Texas or anywhere else, Blue Origin in Texas, if you'd like to collaborate, reach out to me here in, in one of these videos or if you get the word from somebody else that Paul S. Mamakos, uh, CEO, current CEO of Ocean Camera Voice Corp, would be interested in chatting about some future space missions, uh, reach out to someone here at oceancam.space and uh, we'll consider and see, see how we can work together to um, To inspire humanity uh, out of our slumber 
and uh, get back up there into space and do a lot of awesome interesting video footage of the liquid and the surface of these different moons that are thought to be icy but who knows maybe it's like Hawaii maybe the temperatures uh, apparently they just found an area on Mars that has 70 degree temperatures and it's uh, much bigger than the Grand Canyon and apparently the entire United States continent uh, could fit inside this uh, canyon on Mars which has a uh, temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit so go figure in it you know what else it also has water can you believe that so uh, it's too bad that NASA couldn't show us this information we had to get it from another space organization another space agency with much better capability and technology than NASA we had to go to another space agency to tell us that there is a 70 degree temperature on Mars in a huge crater bigger than the United States of America and it has water so there's uh, there's all of our good well-spent government money not doing anything for us but we had to rely on a different space organization to I I'd have to go back and read the article but uh, it, it did come out by CNN so it is a little bit suspect but um, apparently there is a huge huge valley on Mars with more water than they ever knew about with 70 degree Fahrenheit temperatures so anyway just a little thing not worthy of a news article by um, by NASA or maybe they did but I haven't seen it yet if any of you have seen that let me know yeah so um, yeah so I thought Mars was uninhabitable uh, I thought there was no water on the surface but that turns out not to be the case oops oh I know we can always count on NASA to give us that information first So what I was saying is there's a good likelihood that they've been lying to us about all these other moons and planets here in the solar system. And if you, you keep one uh, worshipping NASA, uh, you're probably going to keep getting this type of information we've been getting, which is basically nothing. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's why it's important to have these private space organizations with a public, uh, with a public focus without the government funding because when you get the government funding then you got to kiss kiss a few arses arse you know like arse got to kiss some kiss some arses because uh, NASA has to kiss the arse of the vice president of the United States because uh, the uh, NASA is run by a committee and when you have committees and you take away the people uh, that's what you get you get a big nothing you get nothing so what I'm doing here at Ocean Cam is to collaborate with the people with all y'all my brothers and sisters here on the planet and also my brothers and sisters off planet because again I don't buy the the uh, bureaucrat the bureaucratic spiel that um, a lot of people in government like to put out because if, if any of these people ever did any meditation any serious real meditation not just looking at TV but real meditation where they close their eyes and they go within a lot of people don't like to close their eyes because they're afraid of the dark but when you do close your eyes and you go within then you know what uh, there's there's something inside there's uh there's more information than you have access to than from your computer your computer only tells you what other people have put together and uploaded onto the computer but um yeah computers don't have a lot of information but if you were to close your eyes and meditate for about a year uh, you would actually find some new information and you could invalidate the BS that you get from the government corporations that put out the BS that tried to hold you back and tell you that you're powerless but yeah we all have infinite amount of power because there's only one being in the universe and that one being can't be any more powerful than itself so uh, yeah yep anyway wish you a happy Thanksgiving next year in 2022 uh, right now we're in 2021 so I'm looking ahead happy Thanksgiving for next year and uh, 
before before getting to Thanksgiving for next year, we gotta we gotta live out the next year. So if we want to have a beautiful Thanksgiving in 2022, we gotta make some plans for Christmas. And Christmas is the time when uh, it is the seed. You got the the seed, you got the flower, and then you got the fruit. You got the seed. So we're in the seed time of year where we're going within. And so if we want to have the fruit of the great Thanksgiving next year, if we want to have the harvest and all that, we got to make the plans now because we're in the seed formation. Formation is the time, if you believe in paganism or if you believe in Christianity or this is the death and then the resurrection, it's all lined up with the planets. So we're in the seed formation here and if we want to have a good Thanksgiving next year, we're going to have to have something to be thankful for. So let's have a good... Um, we're in the planning phases of the next year here. We're in the rest and recovery R and R. So make sure to do some R and R. I'm gonna do some R and R rest and relaxation here, most likely in Brownsville because um, that's where I am, Brownsville, Texas, in the United States of America. And um, we'll see what next year brings. Uh, I do appreciate all the uh, community here at Ocean Camera Space Corp. Uh, the camaraderie and um, everything else got to keep it interesting everybody all right from this this spot on the planet of earth here at planet earth where we do have water and we do have favorable conditions for life uh, to wherever you are in the universe uh, I know we can travel instantaneously out of body to any location in the universe in less than a minute. So the entire universe is accessible to you. And I know that you may not be watching this station from the Earth. So wherever you are, whatever aspect of the universe that you're inhabiting and listening or watching to the show or joining in or participating, I know I believe in the butterfly effect. Everything in the universe is connected. So from, from this spot here on the Earth to wherever you are in the universe, listening, watching, have a great day. Some of y'all's days may be thousands of years because the day on different planets is a different length of time. So however long your day is, I wish you the best of days and a good day today. And we'll see where we end up tomorrow. Thank you very much be well adios hasta luego